the past six years, the Red Bull crash dice has made Quebec its home for the closing event of the season. For the past two, it has seen the crowning of a world champion. This year is without a doubt the tightest race for the crown in the history of the sport of ice cross downhill, with Kyle Croxall leading in points and Artie Pilainen right on his tail, looking to defend his title. Semi-final number one was a walk in the park for R2 as the fleet-footed Finn sped to the wind to advance along with the power forward Kyle Croxall, trailing 15 metres back in second place. Gonna play a clean final. Uh, me and R2 gonna give her as much as possible and uh, I'm hoping for the win tonight, but we'll see what happens. The fans were ready for action in the second semi-final with Scott Croxall and Adam Horst. The boys made a horse race of it and sprinted to the finish, the two Canadians rounding out the final. The final could have been a movie script, it was so on point with all four skaters vying for the championship in the mix. Scott Croxall, Artie Pilainen, Adam Horst, and Kyle Croxall. All of these guys were supremely confident coming to the last race of the year. Out of the gate, R2 takes a quick lead and a small slip up by Kyle in black sees him fall to fourth place, risking his title hopes. Along the straight sprint, Kyle chooses the inside line at the splitter. Smart move as he gains the momentum he needs to pass Adam Horst and moves into third behind his brother Scott. All skaters made the step up clean, but on the tricky downhill corner after that, Scott made a critical mistake contacting the wall and opening the door for Kyle, who moves to second position. The final sprint, however, belonged to Artu, who wins the event here in Quebec. The Quebec final results are Scott Croxall third, Kyle Croxall second, and Artu Pilain in first. A champion's podium if there ever was one. Here in Quebec, everything worked well, so I'm really happy. I was happy. I didn't think about the overall situation so much. Kyle Croxall may not have won the event in Quebec, but that won't bother him as his points total and second place here means he has the world championship title wrapped up in his home country. I've been battling for the last three years. Two years in a row came second place and uh, had a couple hard races this year. R2 is a crazy hard competitor. My brother's been in the top standings the whole year as well, so this is amazing. Uh, I can't believe I f finally did it. The talent pool this year has grown significantly and means the 2013 series will be an amazing one. Make sure you don't miss the next edition of the Red Bull Crash Dice World Championships.